Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share everything you need to know about the IRS Form 1099 Miscellaneous. Before we begin, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. It is available on YouTube and Rumble. Like and comment. If you're a business owner or you're planning to become one, you need to get very familiar with Form 1099 Miscellaneous. There's just no way around that. Today we will talk about what Form 1099 Miscellaneous is, what type of payments are reported on Form 1099 Miscellaneous, what you should do when you receive this form in the mail, and we'll also talk about 1099 Miscellaneous versus 1099 NEC. We'll cover who must file Form 1099 Miscellaneous and how you can do it. So first things first, what is Form 1099 Miscellaneous? This is a tax form used by both businesses and individual tax filers to report the payment of qualifying expenses during a year. The payee, the person who received a payment, will use their Form 1099 Miscellaneous when they prepare their tax returns. The amount on their 1099 Miscellaneous will be treated as revenue for income tax purposes. You will pay tax on that amount based on your business structure and your tax bracket. We'll talk more about that in a minute. If you are a business owner and you made payments in excess of $600 in total during a year, the IRS requires that you file 1099 miscellaneous with the IRS as well as issue Form 1099 to that individual. Companies issuing 1099 miscellaneous are also required to have them prepared and filed no later than January the 31st. There are so many different tax forms and navigating through them is confusing, but a key takeaway from the video is that Form 1099 miscellaneous is not used when reporting non-employee compensation that would be subject to self-employment tax. Let me give you an example. If you are a freelancer and you work on a project for a company, then they pay you and that payment wouldn't be on your 1099 miscellaneous. It would need to be reported on IRS Form 1099-NEC. Now let's talk about what types of payments are typically reported on 1099 miscellaneous. 1099 miscellaneous is used for a variety of business transactions. The most common ones are rent, if you are a tenant, you would issue a 1099 miscellaneous to report rent paid to your landlord or to your property management company during a calendar year. You would see 1099 miscellaneous used for reimbursement payments. This is typically common for contractors who purchase supplies or make other purchases for their clients. So you would see this typically among interior designers and construction building contractors. These payments would not be subject to self-employment taxes. If you're lucky enough to win money, for example, a prize or an award, you would receive a 1099 from whoever pays you. Another type of payment reported on this form is money that you receive as legal settlement. Now that we covered what Form 1099 Miscellaneous is and the type of payments that are reported on this form, let's talk about what you should do when you get a 1099 Miscellaneous in the mail. So if you receive this IRS form, the very first thing that I think you should do is review it and make sure that the amount reported on that form your social security number or your tax ID are correct. Trust me, it is not uncommon to see major errors on these forms as they're not typically prepared by tax specialists. The next thing you would do is report on your own tax return any income that is shown on your 1099 miscellaneous. You do not have to file the form with your taxes, but you should keep it for your own records or you can scan it and save it as a file on your computer, for example. The amount from your 1099 miscellaneous should be included as income on your tax return. Here's what you need to do to file your 1099 miscellaneous. A copy of Form 1099 is available on the IRS website. You will find the link uh, to that form below. It does consist of several parts, but it's fairly straightforward. So copy A of Form 1099 miscellaneous is in red ink. There's absolutely nothing that you need to do with it. It is for IRS use only. 
the black copy of the form should be completed, downloaded and printed. You will see that there is copy one. It goes to the recipient's state tax department. Copy B, you will need to mail that to your recipient. Copy two is sent to the recipient for their state tax return if applicable. Copy C is yours, keep it for your records. If you're the one who fills out a 1099, here's what you will need. You will need their name, their social security number or tax ID, as well as their address. Remember that the IRS requires you to mail the form. I know that there's quite a bit of confusion when it comes to form 1099 miscellaneous versus 1099 NEC. So form 1099 NEC is also an IRS form used for the reporting of certain tax deductible payments by businesses and individuals. NEC stands for non-employee compensation, which is what the form is used to report. Specifically, Form 1099 NEC is used by businesses and individuals to report compensation paid to independent contractors who are subject to self-employment tax. So if you paid $600 or more to your contractor for business-related services, you will need to issue a Form 1099 NEC to them. To sum it up, here's a quick illustration that will help you visualize both of these forms. If you do need more information about Form 1099 NEC as well as 1099K, stay tuned as I'm working on more content for you. Thank you for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. Comment below with future video suggestions or any questions on what we just walked through. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.